So, and we're recording. So, uh, hello everybody. Thank you for joining this uh, uh, Google Summer of Code 2023 uh, office hours. Um, I don't have any general uh, subjects to share here with the, the group. So what we're going to do is do the regular uh, rounds, what people uh, learned the previous week, what they achieved, what they're working on, what are their worries. Uh, and um, at the end, we'll keep it open for any other uh, any other question. Yeah, Vendit is also uh, missing. So we'll we'll start. We we have uh, so topmost on my screen here is Jakruti. So your turn. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how you you end up at at that place. So Jakruti, tell us <laughs> tell us. Yes. Yeah, hello everyone. So last, in the first part of GSOC, the last group I was working on was security scan group, which is merged into production right now. And the second group that I started working on, the first group as, as a part of second half of GSOC was Renovate group, which is also complete and merged into production. And right now so I'm working on a CM link validation of group. So that is my update for now. And also, okay. I have added a blouse for the groups I have worked on. There's just one block left of Renovate Group, which is completed and I've worked for the blog about. Okay. So that's my update. Having some difficulties or whatever? Yeah, I, I'm not sure you're using your the, the microphone or your headset, uh, Jagoti. Because uh, you sound, you sound f a, a bit far. I want to add a bit more about uh, Coral, what Jacques is doing. Um, the SEM validation, uh, link validation prop that uh, she mentioned is um, a bug that we found um, in the past weeks. And so Jacques is working on fixing it. Um, it's um, not a technical bug, it's uh, more um, um, what we call conceptual. Um, a conception work uh, uh, bug, and so um, the difficulty is um, the, the 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 bug itself uh, is used by other probs, and so fixing it in one place, uh, we need to fix the behavior of the other probs. So okay. it, it's um, not something that is really uh, uh, located. Uh, it, it's located. We know where it is, but we we it, it's spread a bit. Um, across uh, several things. And so uh, Jacotti has to fix the um, bug and uh, adapt the, the tests um, uh, that, uh, that exist. So uh, it's uh, not like creating something uh, new like she did before. So it's something, uh, again, it's something new to her. Okay. Good. Uh, a question that I'm going to ask to the other uh, mentors, Alisa, uh, being the uh, outreach uh, officer for Jenkins, uh, was suggesting and recommended if, recommending if you have time to do, and, and this is a polite way to say it, if are you able to write a small blog post summary of uh, what happened in the first part of Google Summer of Code, is that planned? So I have already started that uh, document, John Mark, okay. and okay. Um, I already have input from Harsh and okay. Van D. Okay, and so you're building a single document for mm -hmm. uh, all candidate for all. Uh, contributors right right and i can put a link in the chat window again for the the gdoc but um yeah i'm hoping well i gave um our gsoc contributors the deadline of tomorrow to give me their input um but here is the link okay. to the gdoc but we yes we've and, started already 
okay that's that's good because it's it's useful and it it gives a good picture of uh, uh what we're doing so who is who didn't give you the the input um so uh, i still am waiting for feedback from jagruti and ashutosh okay good but they're not late we still have they have time till tomorrow right okay is it a long document or do you did everybody know what's required um you know i i'm hoping that it's not a long document but it's going to be a, it's just a blog post that we recap what was done um right. for for that first half of gsoc so two paragraph or three paragraph per project yeah well you know as long or as as short as uh the gsoc contributors want it to be but then i'm also gonna include the link to the slide deck as well as to re the recording in case people want more details right okay sorry to to have uh jumped but just wanted to check uh, yeah about that so tomorrow evening your time is a deadline morning my time morning, and I'm hoping, your time. I, I'm hoping one of our um, GSOC contributors can do the pull request would that be oh, okay. what do you think about that oh I can do it oh awesome thanks yeah. Chris okay. right that's great so we we have good teamwork there thank you so next one on my screen is harsh harsh i'm i'm wondering what you have behind you is that a, a thermos bottle or or a pipe yeah. or either it's, it's a bottle for my water okay good so as we have water so what else happened on on your project and what are you doing right now so like I, in the coding phase one, I was stuck because I was not able to get the milestone to code working interactively, but now I am out of it. Like the code is working interactively. So I can officially say that now the GitLab plugin does not use, does not use rest -Z at all. It's completely based on GitLab for J and I am currently working on the test cases uh, for that. And uh, other than this, yeah, I had to go through a lot of debugging in the, into the Jenkins code and, and into the stapler requests and responses to get it functioning right but yeah it's fine right now and i think it's on a good track okay good it sounds like a great adventure and nice results so very good somebody wants to add something chris uh, maybe we, um hang on yes yeah, just me and mark okay so uh, i think i think the progress is very good and we have made some really 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 good highways this week or these two weeks so very good work indeed hey very good so starting well here uh the last one i see in who turned his camera on and is preparing it himself for the show so vendit tell us what is happening on your side Hi, John Mark. Uh, yeah, I have completed all the migration of the documentation that was written in Askai doc. So now we'll work on blogs and some pages that uh, that are you to be generated with Gatsby. So I think we have officially completed two milestones uh, of migrating the documentation. Now we'll only have to work with Gatsby and integrating doc search on both uh, 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 and Tora generated and Gatsby generated pages. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, any we are in the phase. yeah, we are in the ending phase, I guess. But I have my exams. I have my exams and I just got to know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I okay, just got but... to know that they, are, they have been postponed a little bit. So I think I'll be able to do some work or I won't be able to do much work because I have to prepare for them. We'll see. Okay, these are the kind of things you need to discuss with your your mentor uh, to yeah. to organize. But it's important that you find a good a good balance, especially as you're making a good progress. So, yeah. okay, um, maybe Jeff can say something about the 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, one day is doing good. I mean, I meet, uh, meeting the requirements. So I think yeah, I said like he's working on docs and the events and calendar pages. So I saw the. Uh, I didn't join the last meet, but uh, I was uh, following the chats and the join uh, that alternative uh, channel thing. So I mean, it's good. I mean. Okay. Very good. Uh, plans to show the results to some SIGs or to the other? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. So like, we're planning to show it to the docs of our Asia one, maybe um, over the next weeks. And also we might uh, we might join the UX call later, but I have to talk to Vandy about it. Mm. Very good. So here, that sounds very good progress. Uh, I hope that uh, Ashutosh's uh, power problem and uh, water issues. Uh, Bruno, can you eventually do a very quick stand yes. point or tell us? Yes, where... I was lucky enough to have a short meeting with Ashutosh before the power outage. <laughs> so I know a few things. Um, we had, for the time being, um, three simple tutorials, uh, the latest of them being Maven tutorial, which works pretty well. And this week we wanted to uh, work with a Python tutorial and it's working. Uh, it's not yet merged, but it's working, which is a good thing. And there was a major step I had, uh, I asked Ashutosh to do. It was about the first steps of CI CD for our project, which means using GitHub Actions to test our instance, you know, your Docker Compose instance uh, of Jenkins. And it's kind of difficult. Um, what is, what is difficult? He oh, has to yeah, learn okay. about what is a GitHub Action, first of all, how does this work? And it also has to learn about the REST API of Jenkins and the Hola. Jenkins client jar file and so on. So that's lots of things to learn before knowing how to get it to work. We have to start Jenkins. We have to check that Jenkins has started. We have to check that it has finished starting and ready. We have to log in. We have to see the name of the jobs. We have to launch a job. We have to check if the job is oh. running, if it has finished, if... Wow. It's difficult. It's, that way, it's quite extensive. So uh, for, to explain to the others in case uh, people are wondering, because I, I uh, uh, worked a little bit on, on that, why using GitHub Actions and not Jenkins immediately? Yeah, wow. Uh, GitHub Actions is quite cheap and easy to start with. It uh, doesn't require heavy uh, infrastructure and, and uh, so you can experiment on your own, build your CI toolchain, and as Bruno said, uh, validating that the demo works, is there, that the jobs are. This is the major uh, uh, work and, and problem. And once, we, once a project has something to work, moving over to Jenkins is, is the easy part. We just need then to apply with the Jenkins infrastructure to, to have the necessary setup. You nailed it, John Mark. Yeah. yeah, but I just wanted to have it on record because uh, uh, people might ask why. Mm -hmm. But GitHub is a very good, GitHub Actions is a very good platform to learn and have a, I won't say quick and dirty, but uh, <laughs> easy way to start CI. Jenkins is the, the heavy duty one. The, Mm -hmm. professional one difference between markdown and ascii doctor you can do much more with ascii doctor than markdown okay finish that is there somebody who would like to to add or raise a point so next week i'll be back in uh, in brussels it will be easier. Um, we're going to see how we can organize that uh, with you. I might have uh, reorganized a small chat, one-to-one -one chat with all uh, contributors just to, to see how things are, are going. But I see a lot of smiles. So my opinion, 
things are moving good. I also have chats with the mentors to see that we're we're in line there. Okay, unless somebody has a, a remark to do a point to raise, and I leave a couple of seconds for that, we can we can finish that. Okay, I didn't hear anybody interrupt. So I wish you all a nice evening, morning, uh, and uh, see you then next week. Have a nice Thank rest of the day and nice week. Thank you. Have a nice week, bye everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, John, Mark. Bye, everyone. Bye.